Hi, I'm Andre from Peak Motorcycles, and this is uh, a review video. Now, I don't really do review videos for things that I haven't used extensively, because I think it's really hard to do that other than reading a spec list. But what I'm actually gonna do is give you a look at this, which is a new helmet, which is my Scorpion XO HX1 Carbon SE. So I've bought this, uh, and I'm actually gonna do a tour on it in the next two weeks. So I'm currently in India, in Kochi in Kerala, and I'm gonna be riding Royal Enfield for the next two weeks. So it's a great opportunity to really try out this helmet and to try it out in what I think is gonna be really hot weather. So what I'll do in this video is I'll show you what it comes with, because there's a few different configurations that it can be used in. I'm then gonna fit a flex slim mount from Motorrads that my GoPro's gonna go on. I'm gonna fit the Velcro for the mic as well for that. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it and all the videos I do about this trip to Kerala over the next few weeks. And at the end of the trip, I can actually tell you what it's like to wear in hot weather, how it works with a GoPro, how it works with the different visors, with the peak and everything else that goes with it. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'll give you a look at the helmet. The helmet itself comes in this soft bag, which I guess most, most helmets do these days. And it looks sort of retro-y. Um, well, maybe, I don't know. It's got this big, this big air intake at the front. Um, it's got a vent in the top, which you probably can't really see in there, but it basically allows air to flow up through there. Uh, the finish on the helmet is this rather nice sort of gold-coloured uh, carbon fibre, which caught my eye uh, on, the, on the stand at the motorcycle show. And then if I show you actually the, sort of how the, each visor is finished, because it comes with more than one, it's just basically one um, Allen bolt that goes through there, nice sort of carbon fibre end piece on there. Um, if I show you the back of it, um, it's got this vent where I guess the airflow can come out of, and then it also has a loop if you're going to use it with with goggles, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Um, from underneath, it's got kind of a sort of a brown sort of leather finish. I don't think it's, it's actually leather. I guess it's sort of perforated uh, leatherette or something like that. Um, next thing I just want to show you is, if I lift the, the visor up, um, it's got a little catch on the side. It's actually held up with magnets, which seems to be quite a nice thing. So there's no sort of mechanical catch uh, to wear out. And then inside here, with a catch on either side, there is actually a pop down uh, visor. So I've had a couple of helmets before where they have a little switch on the side or something that makes it go up and down and just to actually have that like that I mean it does seem a little bit basic by comparison however um, I've also had those catches stick and break so to not have that might actually be a bonus. So it's quite hard to see on here and um, there is actually a little switch just inside there I don't know if you can see that on the camera and what that does is that basically opens and closes uh, the vents for the big vent at the front. So that's really what you get with that for the helmet itself. Um, it also comes with, as so many things do, with a pin lock that can go in either this visor or the second visor. So it comes with a second visor, which comes in quite a nice soft case as well, soft bag. I'm just gonna open that up. So this one has a slightly different, let me show you that. So this one has a slightly different finish uh, to, the, to the clear one. If I put them sideways, you'll see what the difference is. So the, the, the clear one has this sort of carbon fiber one. This has this sort of quite nice looking anodized. I think it is just plastic, but it look, feels a bit like aluminum, aluminum, potato, potato. Now the vi this visor itself is gold colored, which I think looks quite bling. I suspect it's illegal in several countries. Um, I did try and find out for India whether tinted visors like this were legal. And it's got the same problem in that um, you do need to have some sort of eye covering, so if, you, if it suddenly gets dark, you really shouldn't be using this, you should be using a clear one. Having said that, I think all the, ri all the riding that we're going to be doing uh, while I'm out here is going to be in bright sunshine and 30 plus degrees temperatures. So I think, yeah, I'll probably try that on one of the days just to see what it's like riding with that tinted visor on the helmet. In a moment, I'll just show you how that fits. The other thing that comes with it is this peak, and this again, it fits on just bolts on the side. Now, what I think, the way I think this works, it goes on instead of either visor. So you can't have the peak and a visor, but what you can have is the peak with goggles, or you can have the peak with the integral sun visor. So I think I'll try that on one of the days as well, just to see how that works. The very last thing I want to show you is it comes with just a couple of plain plastic blanking plates. I guess that's if you just want to use goggles, no visor uh, and no peak. And then it comes with a little bag. Uh, and in here, there's just some spare parts. It's got two, two spare of these gold bolts, and it's got two much smaller ones. I'm not entirely sure where the smaller ones go, uh, but I'm sure I'll find out uh, as I take it apart. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you how the visors swap over. I'm uh, gonna unbolt it here, but then I'll just speed it up on the video. So you can see there, that, that's actually the magnets inside this side piece. Uh, that hold it open and closed instead of the me mechanical mechanism and actually that will actually just stick the wrench to it. They're quite strong. 
it did say don't use it if you've got a pacemaker. So to remove it, you just lift it all the way up and then it clicks into place in the up position and there's this little pin comes out of there, that comes off, and there we go. So that's the clear visor off. I'm just gonna put the uh, gold visor on now. That goes exactly the same, but in reverse. There we go, it's one side in. There's a little bit fiddly to get those two catches in at the same time. Actually, you know what, maybe I should have done the bolt up, but there we go, that's on. So that's what it looks like uh, with the gold visor, which looks a bit halo. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, I'm definitely gonna try it like that, maybe even on the first day. Uh, I'm not gonna put those uh, bolts in just yet. I'm gonna take it off and I'm actually gonna put the, the peak on it, I think, next. And to put the peak on, that looks like it just actually sits, you know, just, uh, just on the top like that. Aha, there we go. So I'm just going to put the, the bolts in for this. So there we go. So that is with the peak on. It just kind of looks like that. And then you could just drop the, the dark visor down inside uh, or, or use it with goggles. Um, it's got these little sort of ridges on the side, which I guess would hold the, um, the goggle webbing in place. Um, I think that might even be how I try it to begin with. And actually, I'll just use it like that. Um, I think that'll give the most airflow. Obviously, you'll get it all in through the through the face. I could always try some sunglasses under it if need be. But I think that will be my starting point with this. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit this uh, Flex Slim by Motorrad's mount. I don't know if you saw my other video. I put one of these on my climb helmet. Um, they're very simple. It's basically a GoPro mount uh, that mounts on the chin. So I'll give you a close look at that. So it's basically this flexible, this flexible strip. It's kind of rubber. I think it's got some sort of metal in it to give it some rigidity. Uh, some 3M VHB uh, double-sided tape on the back which just sticks sticks really really well and you just really got to find a place uh, where to put it now on this helmet I think I'm actually going to put it uh, right at the bottom there I don't know if you can see that it just fits around this bottom lip what I'm not sure of is this this sort of uh, I don't know what you'd call it really it's kind of a, a soft touch plastic and I'm just hoping that the VHB sticks to it well enough and I don't lose my GoPro along the way now before I apply it uh, there's a couple of things so you can actually pre-bend this and you try and get it as close to the bend as possible just so that when you push it on, um, you're not having to bend it around too much. So yeah, so that's basically gonna, maybe you can see that on there. I've, I've kind of pre-shaped that so it does sort of fit. Let's bring that in a little bit more at the front. There we go. So yeah, so when that goes on, hopefully I can get that all to go. Yeah, so that's gonna go on like that and hopefully that will all go nicely into position. Now, before I take the, the backing off, they do come with these little alcohol prep pads just to get any grease or anything else uh, off that. It's gonna let that evaporate. So this bit, I'm not really gonna show you on the camera just because I need to make sure I get it level when it goes in and centered. You can just about see that. Okay, so it's pushing that on, trying to get rid of all of the, the gaps around the edge of it. And then hopefully that will stick and stay stuck. This, v this uh, 3M VHB stuff, it really is. I think this VHB stands for very high bonding and it does stick to an amazing number of surfaces. If you've ever had any of the original GoPro mounts, that's the sticky stuff that, that comes on the back of those that really doesn't, doesn't come off. So that's that, that's that installed. I'm kind of hoping that's gonna be strong enough. It certainly feels like it's well attached. Um, yeah, and I think that's level as well. You can see that on there. So when I look underneath, the surface it's going onto isn't completely flat. So that's kind of moved a little bit. But I'll see if I can get that to stay. The next thing I need to do so I can fit the GoPro is I've just got a little bit of Velcro, uh, the loop side, and I'm just gonna pop that on the inside. I think I can just take that piece out. There we go. In fact, I might even leave that out all the time just because I think it's going to be that warm that I don't need uh, the extra bit in there. And what this does mean is I can show you uh, the little switch in there. Maybe you can actually see it now. That's the one that closes the, uh, the front vent up and down. Um, I'm just going to fit this uh, just on the inside in there. So now that that's in there, all it means is that when I get my uh, mic, this is what I use for doing all my 
uh, riding audio. It's actually a, a Senna mic that came with my Senna Bluetooth headset, but I used the boom mic uh, on a flip up helmet. So with this, and that just goes onto the Velcro in there. Um, I need to do something with extra wiring, um, but then that will just plug into the mic adapter uh, on my GoPro on the chin mount. So that's it, that's my video looking at the Scorpion XO HX1 Carbon SE helmet with a look at the two different visors that it comes with. I haven't bothered fitting the pin lock because I'm sure if you if you used pin locks before, that's pretty much the same on any visor. Uh, this is the configuration I'm actually gonna use it with for the start of my Kerala trip. So this is with the peak fitted, which you can see on there. I've also put the Moto Rad's Flex Slim mount uh, for my GoPro onto the chin. Uh, one thing I did notice, which you can probably see on here now, is that it's actually blocking that front vent. So I'll see how much of a problem that is. If it turns out that it's actually quite warm, then maybe I'll look to move that somewhere else. But yeah, that's it. I hope that's been interesting and useful. Uh, please check out my video in a couple of weeks time where I'll tell you what it's actually like uh, with this peak and with the two different visors. Uh, really looking forward to riding here in India for the next few weeks. It's miserable back home in the UK. So it's just nice to be somewhere hot and sunny, hopefully with some interesting things to see. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you next time. That's it. That's my vi so that's it. That's my very. Sh <clears throat> so that's it. That's a, a look at the Scorpion. So that's it. So that's it. That's a look at the Scorpion HX1. So that's it. That's a look at the Scorpion XO. So that's it, that's my video looking at the Scorpion XO HX1 Carbon SE helmet.